Hello everyone. <laughs> Lately I've been watching a lot of videos after videos uh, with the jelly prints and I'm like, I gotta have me a jelly. I, I want a jelly so bad that I, I can't afford one. So I decided to uh, try some stuff and I want to share it with you guys uh, on the cheap okay I don't have a jelly plate and I don't have a brayer but I do have cheap paper and I do have cheap paints they're all apple barrel 50 cents each paint um, this is my glass table so I'm going to use my glass table as the jelly printer it doesn't work exactly like it but it's, it's pretty close and so I'm gonna start by putting some paint down let's see I'll just make it simple this first one it's gonna be simple white and blue and I'm going to use um, sponge brushes and these sponge brushes are a little bit wet because I don't have a brayer and the sponge brushes seems seem to work the best as far as spreading this out what is that So I'm gonna just a little bit of paint at a time. Okay. And that will be on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some marks. No, it's gonna have to oh yeah, and it, it doesn't stay moist as long as a jelly print would. So I'm just making some marks. Ah, that's better. And let's see how this turns out. And here is a just copier paper. And voila. Oh, that's cute. Looks like bubbles and water. Okay. So let's try some more. Um, what about this? This kind of left over. This one is a little bit harder to print, so I'm going to use a spatula, scraper, putty knife, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And did a very light print, and this is already dry. So I'm going to start another one. This one with, and I'm gonna stay in the blues. So I'm gonna let this. The, I found that the dry paint on here. It really, it doesn't make a, a big problem. I'm gonna do blue and white, but I'm gonna add this Caribbean blue. There, and back to my spongy brush. And I gotta keep my paper over here. This is fine to clean off my sponge. And what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna make this some cardboard. And I'm just gonna press it down really good. This is some string. And I kind of missed it just a little bit just to keep it cool, moist. And some string. And paper. When I become rich and famous artist, first thing I want to get me is a brayer and a jelly print plate. But in the meantime, that's what I do. Interesting. Now I'm going to go back with the one up, this one. Take the string off and try the, ex the rest of it. And since there's so little paint on there, I'm going to scrape it really good. And voila, that's another layer.
Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stay in the in the cool family here. This is uh, some lime green. And some more of this Caribbean blue. And let's see, this dark blue too. Well, this is cobalt hue. And I didn't clean my brush off last time, so. All right. Spreading it out a little bit more and mist. And this time I'm going to use, this is uh, a paper that I had punched out some flowers. And I'm going to just tap this one there. And I'm going to try that again. I think I need to tap a little bit harder. Okay, and this is some little hearts that I did, my little hearts, I'm going to put them right here. Alright, and I'm going to get a fresh paper, put it on top. Voila. Not bad. Now, this is the one I had done earlier. It's mostly dry now. And I'm going to pick up the excess. But, let's see. I'm going to put it about right here. It's not going to pick up much. But it all adds up to the layers. There. There's some green layers on top of the blue layers. Okay, now I'm going to do some, um, some warm colors. So I'm going to clean this off a little bit. Now, glass cleans very easily. with just plain water. If it dries on there really good, you just uh, put a little bit of soap just to make the glass slippery. And you can scrape it with a, and, and it's clean. Nothing to it. All right, so I'm going to do some warm colors. Um, start with some hot pink. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because I want more more paper to get printed and this is uh, flamenco red and um, I'm gonna throw some purple in there just hope it doesn't it should purple should be fine with this okay and I'm gonna use a clean punch brush for this. I'm separating my cool colors with my warm colors so I don't want to make mud. That's like death. Oh yeah. Very cool. Alright. I have this thing. This is a, a Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Just making some marks. And then maybe some marks right here. Alright. And I'm going to do the string again. Put the string in there. And some of this corrugated cardboard. 
That thread, it's, it's really not thread, it's, it's a cord, and it's a little bit too thick, so it comes up like that. Now, this one is nicely dried. I'm going to take this off, and stick this on top. I'm more like covered in the pink, I think, There's the blue area. Okay, right there. And we're just going to put it right here. greens and blues. This one's still a little wet. Let's see if I can find another one. Oh, okay, this one. This one. We're going to get some of this pink over here. I'm going to pick up this one here. And this little bit here. Now, so far, this is my favorite one. So, what I'm going to do is, let me see, I'm going to wipe this up a little bit. Get some of that reddish purple stuff out of the way. Now, with this one, I had done this in white. So I'm going to do this one with some white. making a texture and I had done these was it this one or was it yeah it was this one and some bubbles what happens with that if I can add to these. I'm just going to do it lightly because I don't want too much. Oh, I like that. That's very pretty. Yes, indeed. Very pretty, very pretty. So, let's see. I'm going to find ones that are already printed on that are dried up a little bit. They're all still wet, so I'm going to get a clean sheet and soap up that. And this one needs, where's my spatula thingy? Oh, well, I have, oh, here it is. I got it. I like that. Pretty bubbles, pretty bubbles. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to do some of this green. Not much of this left. This is spring green. And some of this blue. And some white. bigger circle and voila This one, this it's printed so light, I'm gonna go and do that part with it. So you can see this is not exactly like jelly printing, but it's fun and you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. Ah, now that's pretty. That's a good combo. All right. Um, so now I'm going to go, I need to do, uh, I've got a lot of uh, cool colors. I need to add a little bit of contrast color to the ones that I already have printed. Now, if I knew how to edit videos, you guys wouldn't have to see this. But unfortunately, I don't I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm not a very high tech kind of girl. I like art. My brain only works on one side most of the time. Even though women are supposed to have equal balance between the two. I don't know. All right, so now I'm going to do uh, oh, some warm color. I'm going to do this um, this ripe tomato, which is is a reddish orange or orange red. I'm going to do red, and some yellow in between. And maybe some white. How about that? Okay, and I'm cleaning off this sponge brush. It's just still very wet. And I've got these my colors. Alright, and just very lightly. Just making some patterns with my spongy brush. And I'm going to try these flowers again. And I'll just gently pat these. Now I have stencils, but I didn't want to pull those out. I wanted to do this as simple as possible with the least amount of supplies they have to run to the store to get for us po folk to have to craft on a budget 
like that. So until I am a famous artist, I'm going to craft on a budget. That's just the way it is. Unless you guys want to give me some money. Ha! I'm doing this for my own pleasure. Uh, all right, that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to do I'm going to do this one. It has a lot of green on here, and this dry. And let's hope this comes out pretty. Aha! Uh -huh. I like it. That really is nice. Now, I have this one dried up too. This one's so pretty the way it is, but I'm going to add more stuff to it. Now, it's okay to mix your, your tools and, and your warms as long as they dry. One layer is dry, and it's not going to turn to mud. Eh. You just never know what you're going to get with these things. All right. I think you know pretty much I could go on forever. But I know you guys don't want to watch me go on forever. So I'm going to now tell you how to do the next step. Then you pull the one that you like the best. That you think is the cutest. And that is dry. This one came out really nice. I like the way this one came out. I had done this one earlier. So uh, this one's is pretty. It's simple. It's got blue and it's got that uh, that turquoise. So now I'm gonna get my markers, and these are just uh, permanent mar markers, kind of like sharpies. Uh, I don't have any. Well, they're microns. They're not that great for coloring on top of latex I mean uh, acrylic paints but it's what I have so it's gonna do so what I do now which is my this is my first step which gives me a starting point what I do now is try to figure out where I'm gonna go with this and I let the paint decide so I'm gonna outline I'm gonna outline these shapes I got some pretty flowers here I'm gonna start outlining now, if I was doing this on a canvas, I'd be doing it with uh, with black paint and a very fine brush, and it takes me a long time. It's pretty. And this is when you want to, you know, do your doodles. If you know how to do doodles and entangles and things like that. I'm just outlining the shapes that I have. Okay, this. this one goes all the way down here. You see how my brush is starting to dry up. I mean, my brush, my pen, it, it doesn't like latex paint. And this is still slightly moist. It needs to dry a little bit longer. But here I make my lines. And here's another stout line. Here are my little hearts. Okay, that's basically uh, all I do right there. 
that's just outlining what you have already. So that's it's giving you a direction. I think I'm gonna put this as the bottom, being this, this is a bigger design than the little hearts. This is a smaller design towards the top. And I need more color in this. So let's see, we're gonna start, we're gonna stay with the cool colors. So I'm gonna do some of this lime green. Oop. And some of this um, aqua. Caribbean blue. And let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll start with, with this. And just kind of like pick it up, pick up both colors like this and do some uh, marks. It's already adding another dimension to my work. Okay. Now I'm going to take some white. And my little cup here. And I'm going to use the bottom as a stamp. I'm going to try to go to the areas that are dry and as you can see I'm just go on like that and here's another little mark making tool is a glue stick and this one makes little circles And I want to add some yellow to this, so I'm going to do another, this time I'm going to stick my finger in there. So we're going to do some yellow, I'm going to mix it in with this. Now you can keep adding colors to this. Try not to get the colors too mixed together. Let, let them dry in between layers. Okay. So now you want to get this to dry up. So your next step is once you put your extra colors and you think you got enough colors there, then you go back with your pen and go over now see on here I, I went over the flowers so I want to emphasize these flowers again but this time I have a line right here so I want to keep that line And do my other circles and then this circle I'm going to put a shadow on the inside shadow on the outside and that'll give it a little more dimension and this is a very simple way to start doing an abstract and that's all there is to it ladies and gentlemen you just keep outlining and you find something that you like that the, the, the paint is making a pattern of and you outline it. Now say you got a spot that you don't like, you take some white and you cover it up. Let's see, how about, to, let's see, oh, I like everything about this. So how about this area right here? So I'm just gonna, not cover it up, but just lightly 
and go over it. And here you just add, just keep adding and outlining. And, and eventually you come out with something really cool. And this is another one I had worked on earlier. Okay. So that gives you some uh, ideas what you could do with just plain copy paper. Cheap acrylics. And uh, handmade stencils. Hope you got, guys got something out of that. And thank you for watching.